And I'm going to go and take you into Kos. I bought a lot of things this season. I'm loving it. Come on. This is quite a delicious set. What colour would you say that is, Molly? Like an olive green? Yeah, foresty. Foresty green. Beautiful pleating. These are, I know, a bit expensive. 125. I mean, they are premium, lovely, beautiful bow neck. You can do lots of different ways. So you can either drape it low like that. You can do it at the side. You can do a full pussycat. You could do a half pussycat too. It's just pulling it all the way through one of the sides instead of having the other side, this little half pussycat. But it's divine, love that. Love this coat because they do really good waterproof and they've done such good coat season. I bought that navy and white one, but lovely inner pockets for your phone, extra bits so you don't get nippy in the middle. Well thought through. I mean, all the jumpers are good. Plain gray trousers, not an interesting shape. Oh, I like this, come over here. This is nice. This is two-piece, knit jersey, but very nice extra support on the waistband. We quite like that. Nice straight leg and um, really nice big oversized jumper, which you can half tuck. Very nice neckline. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. If you suit plum, if you want to know if you suit that colour, buy Fearless and look at the colour guide. Snuggly, lovely jumper. I recently got in my closet confessions a sweater dress and I loved it because it was so long. Probably it's a fifth of the price of one I bought in New York in a very expensive shop. Oh, I think it's 120 pounds. All lovely merino wool. It's black, so Molly loves it. A bit of color there. This is what I call boiled wool. I like a bit of boiled wool. It's already boiled, as it were, so it doesn't bubble. And very good colour, uh, drop sleeve. So if you have narrow shoulders, I would wear this with a sort of shoulder pad underneath because otherwise it will make your shoulders in a way look narrower because the seam of the sleeve is below. Sexy little dress. This reminds me of my Solus London shape. I like a draped hem occasionally if you've got a good leg, a little bit of lace detail. Gorgeous dress. Love that. Oh, this. Look at that skirt. We did it for Friday 20 in black, but I bought it in silver, and it hangs so beautifully. Very nice. It comes with a matching top. If you've seen this, you know, Chloe did it undown to the clivage. But beautiful, really roomy. I think it will fit up to a size 20. So, you know, some things in cost will be good size-wise, and some things are more 16, you know. Oh, look, cashmere jumpers. Festive season at Christmas. We've kind of, you know, that's the thing that's been on a Christmas list of mine for many years. We're definitely on Lila's. But cashmere is very expensive. And I always feel cost you a cashmere that works. It's a like, nice quality cashmere. It's not cut too short. If you have any balling, you know, some will ball more than others. Um, Molly brought the brown one and she felt it balled a bit. It can be a lot about the positioning of your handbag as well and be aware of what you're doing around the sleeve. But you can buy de-ballers. I get them off Amazon. They're these round things and they can take off all the balling. But this is such a pretty soft khaki green and it's 175. They used to be 120. The days have gone by where you could get them for 120. M&S probably they're like a 89 pounds, but very long sleeves, just, they feel so luxurious. Um, I love that. You think to yourself a white blazer when it's cold, but this is a heavyweight fabric. And I think this is something, you know how we have to change our mind occasionally? I used to never wear light over dark. It was just like one of my rules. And recently I bought a white blazer from Saint Laurent, um, but this is a beautiful cut. And to wear this over a black outfit is so sharp. And it's the one way, you know, monochromatics together. If you wear a white jacket over a black outfit, the white jacket has to be very well cut because everything's going to show up because the canvas of it behind is darker. So this is a good cut. The lapel is nice. The fabric is good. And it's not a summery weight. So I like that. I think it's a nice way to reimagine winter as well when all we want to do is snuggle up. Oh, look, my goodness, that skirt, Molly. I mean, we didn't see that skirt before. I love this skirt. I think I put this in my basket and I didn't buy it and I don't know why I didn't buy it. The length is shorter so if you're petite and you want one of those skirts that Chloe and I did, that could be the way to go. But I just love that. It's got the up and down fabric. You know some of these sequins that one way it goes one way and you get this texture within the sequin. I think it works well. Yes! I mean, who doesn't like a velvet suit? There's just so much here. I can't believe how great it is. Velvet is going to obviously crease. Now, you've got to be careful. I think the best way to treat velvet, if you really want to buy into velvet, is you need to have a steamer at home. You can get steamers off Amazon. But ironing velvet is very tricky. And if you pack it, always pack it inside out. But, you know, a little steaming with these trousers would show them off a lot better. It's like sage, a sage plum color, not quite khaki, a softer green. This is a green that's wonderful for a neutral 
warm and neutral cool would be beautiful in this colour and a floppy jacket to go over it. This is a silver one and I'd say it's more gunmetal than silver so people who are scared of bright silver it's got a gunmetal feel and that's why I felt it deserved a location in my wardrobe because I didn't have a gunmetal skirt, I only have a silver sequin skirt. Same top again with that sort of lurex feel to it. You feel sexy in it. I tuck in the collar. That's me, but you know, not everyone is for a tucked in collar. Okay, we're going along here a lot. Oh my God, I didn't, I did see this. I gotta try it on. I've gotta try it. Molly, you're gonna try it on for me. Come here, take off your coat. Because I thought this was mesmerizing as a coat. Molly can model for us. Phenomenal designer coat with that fringing in leather. I mean, how cool is that, Molly? So cool. I mean, how much do you love it, Molly? Love it. I mean, how incredible is that coat? It's a great leg, such a good leg. But Mol, have a look in the mirror. It's so fun. It is totally. <laughs> so that's one coat. We don't want to promote too much black here because we really want to get into colour. But this one as well. This is, this is. I know an expensive coat. I saw it online. This is going to be your main present at, at, at Christmas. It's lambskin, I think, which is, um, you know, just heavy, warm and delicious. Um, sheepskin, I mean, that is kind of an, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, oh my God, I've got to talk to you about that. Um, let me put this back because this is something that's on my Christmas list. Like, this is one of the cleverest things, I love this. Um, these are Christmas balls. <laughs> they could be lots of things actually, but they're like a pin you might have when you do a Remembrance Day pin, you know, it has that pin there. And if you've got a dress where, and I've used it on this in one of my outs of the day, where maybe it's too high cut at the waist, but there's fabric, you can take the fabric, make a pleat at your waist, shove this under the dress at the back, have that on top, plop it through. It's quite a soft pin, so you have to be careful your, you've got your glasses on to press it in. And then you have this pop out from the fabric and you ruche the dress in the way that it suits you and suits you at the right positioning on your waist. So for example, even with this Molly, okay, put that down for a second, darling. Let me just, just I'm not gonna go up your knickers, but this is, oh, is this mine? Yes, it is yours. Oh, lovely, <laughs> I, we do this clothing swap at the office. But let's say you wanted to wear this waisted. Yeah. You could just take that, put that tuck there, and then you'd have the bottom bit underneath and that bit there. And look, it's a totally different dress. Super cool. And then you could do one the other side. They have in gold a smaller one. And how I want much to get that today. I mean, brilliant presents. 60 pounds. 60 pounds. I mean, they are like, this is, I think, sterling silver. The other one's not gold plate, but they're beautiful. I love that as well. Can I have your neck, Molly? Yes, always. Thank you very much. So just let's look at that as a sort of architectural bit of jewelry. Kind of cool. Oh, and it just sits there. It's yeah, like, yeah. I'd go up. I might go up and say, you've lost half your necklace. <laughs> or I might go up if I was the sort of fashionista and go, that's such a cool necklace. Beautiful. You're going to do one thing or the other, aren't you? A piece of art. It's a piece of art, darling, isn't it? Let me it take is. that off you. These are so lovely. Now, I gave Lila many years ago my old one from Prada. We were always looking for this shape. So this, you could do a chief just over something. You could tie it like that. You could just have it long like it's that. It's so nice when you have a coat and you're not necessarily wearing something high. So let me just... take that from you now <laughs> and do that myself. So exactly right, Molly. So just mirror. taking this, you know, I was thinking I haven't got enough action going on there. So the, if you do it this way, then by the time you get round again, it's too short. So the trick here is always take it from front to back and front again. So I'd start here in the middle like this, there. And then I'd go round, take my hair out. Thank you, darling. Like that. You can play around with it, but it's just so chic. Really nice print. The thing I've actually had my eye on all the time we've been doing this is this bag. And I think what I like about it is how architectural it feels. I really, actually, really, really want this bag. You know, I looked at the Celine Phoebe Philo website of her new site. The bags were, you know, the price of cars. But there's an element here to a very expensive architecturally designed bag. And you know what, in life, girls, we don't need a label, we need the beauty of the design. And I think the more we can head that way, we can then invest in pieces which, you know, this is brilliant leather. I, th I love this way, it ties here. I think that there's a little bit in here for your precious things to get to easily. I would fit my laptop in there. I think I might get this bag. 
It's expensive, but let's just think how expensive. This is 250 pounds. Now, I think to myself, I might go into Zara and buy a bag for 25, 56, 79, those kind of prices. But I think, would I say, what does this do for me? And how much would I use it? And I just think that's an amazing bag you'd wear like that. You'd wear it like that as a piece and putting it over your shoulder, it's whether you feel it won't fall down. But I think you have to think about how you use a bag. Oh, hold on to it. Thank you, darling, because we might need you to model again. Okay. Should we look at a few more things? Let's okay, great, all right, so. Oh, Molly, green. And it's got a built-in And it's got, purge. oh my God. This That's is Molly in a dress. <gasps> oh no, it doesn't. Oh my, oh, my. sorry. It has a hood and it has that little wrist movement and it's green. I mean, that is fabulous. I love it. It is gorgeous. I, I am questioning this because I got these and I thought to myself, they remind me a bit of another brand. Sometimes you see this in Zara. I don't expect to see it in Kos, but you might know Serena Butte. I bought those trousers with the waistband in the white at the top. And I do feel there isn't obviously the outside pocket, but I thought of that immediately that I saw them. It's not the first idea that somebody takes the inside of a trouser and puts it on the outside, but I, they're very nice. But the Serena Root ones, I like more. Quick look here. I want you to try this on, Molly, because I like this print. All right, there's this lovely, it's not a leopard print, but it's, it's like tortoise. a sort of, yeah, it's sort of bit. tortoiseshell, isn't it? Because you get those colors in tortoiseshell. And there is a coat. Ooh. Will you just try that on for us? Yeah, because um, we quite like a coat with uh, print. And every season, cost you probably two prints. And this is definitely a print I've seen in a few things. So this is obviously going to be their print of the season. So let's try that on. There we go, let me see. Oh, Molly, that's nice. Yeah, it's really smart. Can I just say this would suit so many women, women who maybe have just are into black, but to get into a print, it's soft, it's easy to wear. This kind of print is a subtle print. So if you're scared of print, it's not a scary print. Sleeve Beautiful I sleeve length. I think that the, you know, this is, you either love a round collar coat or you don't, but I think it's very sharp. Yeah, I think it's lovely. Oh, I got this for Lila for her birthday, so I'm going to show you because I love this jumper. It's such a nice jumper. It's so thick, and when Lila getting her presents that she doesn't see first is the biggest challenge to Molly and I because Molly usually goes to get some presents because Lila reads my emails, <laughs> and she'll search what I'm getting, and she'll know it. She wants to know everything, but she didn't know about this, <laughs> and it's so thick and super, super cool as a jumper. Kind of, It's like a ski jumper feel, um, but divine um, oh my god you could but why oh it could be a whole new jumper Molly that's so true because that's really nice I hadn't noticed that very good point this is what I call a sort of shooting outfit this is a tweed and it's a very subtle herringbone fabric more than a tweed actually but has the inspiration of that and this jacket is interesting it's a padded like a sort of padded flying jacket or like a biker jacket reimagined padded inside really thick and delicious I kind of love that it's very not me but I'm fascinated by it and I think it would suit I don't know who it would suit it would suit you Molly oh I did like these too I love a pair of gloves that stand out if you're somebody who doesn't wear much color but if you were wearing like today, exactly what I'm wearing, you know, just to have a little hint of colour. I've got football's hands, very difficult to get gloves, but how nice is that just to give that element of colour if you're wearing mainly brown or black? I think that's lovely, and chocolate brown and red is a good combo, so they're great. The other bag I wanted to show you isn't here. It's a huge silver bag, which I got. I think it's a very nice bag, but if you notice on this bag already, it's scratched a bit. So I think when you're buying bags, always think, how durable is that bag going to be? Sometimes bags bashed up look really nice, but I would look at that and think, um, I love the mechanism. What made me pick it up is I know that you're going to open it. I know I was presuming you'd open it this way, but you're not going to. I don't know how you're going to. That's why I think it's scratched. People didn't know how to open it. And so people not, having to, not knowing how to open it, they're doing lots of things to the bag. You know, that's why we've got all this going on, I think, because probably don't know how to open it. When you have a bag that you fiddle with that much to open, probably, for me, I'll put that down. So, I think that's it. We've, we've given you a little schmooze around, but there's so much good stuff. Loving it. I'll try and do another shop up in another store soon, but I'm going towards checkout. Toodaloo.